set of Tabatas back in training as I get ready for the Watch City Invitational in Mass coming up at the end of the month. Uh, we're going to start with three rounds of jump rope and then from the jump rope we're going to do a five minute shadow boxing warm up where each of those minutes we're focusing on something different and then we're going to get right into our Tabata. If you're looking for something that has a lot of bang for your buck, it's hard to beat Tabatas. Tabatas are 20 seconds of max effort work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. I repeat them six times, and then I do this for three total rounds, just like a fight. Um, they're miserable. There's no good way to do Tabatas. Uh, but that's why they're good for combat athletes, because in a fight, you're going to be tired, you're going to have to dig deep, and you're going to have to show that you can give it your all. There's certainly a gameness element to Tabatas that I really appreciate and I see the return from with my athletes. <clears throat> I'm doing this as my first workout of the day because that's how time has permitted it for our filming schedule. But usually, we would have already done a run, we would have already done some defensive rounds before getting into this. foot square here, a little mini ring, and when I do all of my shadow box, I always try to think about my position in that ring. You don't need a lot of space. If you got a jump rope, that's great. If you're just bouncing along on your feet and swinging your arms around to warm up, that's fine too. Remember, jumping rope isn't just about warming up your legs and your feet, alright? It's about warming up your shoulders, warming up your wrists. Loosening up those scapula on your neck. Very, very, very important if you're going to be shadow boxing. Cool. First round done. From here, we're going to take a minute and then we're going to move on to our five minutes of shadow boxing. For our five minutes of shadow boxing, the first minute is just footwork. The second minute, I introduce head movement. The third movement, I introduce the jab, all right? And in the fourth minute, it's freestyle. I can do whatever I want. And the fifth minute, I'm working on pummeling. I'm thinking about clinching. I'm thinking about inside work and tie-ups and trap, okay? So that will kind of prime me uh, for all the elements that I employ in my game before I get to my actual hard Tabata shadow boxing workout. Cool. All right, now 10 seconds for real. <laughs> okay. First round is just footwork. If you don't practice your feints, they won't look good when you fight and when you spar. and my angles, putting those together. Right, for my specialty footwork, like out of the half guard. 
Nice your pendulum step. And introducing head movement for the second minute. And it's important to remember that that's head movement in addition to your footwork, not in substitution of it. Good third minute, we're introducing our jab. Fourth minute, we're freestyling here for whatever I want. And fifth movement is inside work. And frankly, a little tired after being sick for a couple days. But suffer along with me, all right? I'm, I'm prostrating myself before you folks here. Being exhausted, being tired, we're in this together. Let's not stop. I use an easy app just called Tabata Timer, where you can program your own workouts. Give myself 10 seconds to get my gloves on. Sometimes I do this on the bags. And then 10 seconds of rest, which is literally just enough time for your goofy combat athlete brain to convince you that you're willing to suffer again. That's the idea. Um, when I say max effort work, max effort work in the context of boxing. Try to find a nice balance between volume and power. I don't really want you throwing three or four punches as hard as you can, and I don't want you throwing a thousand punches with no hip or good technique in them. Try to put this all together. Remember, we're not 
punchers, we're boxers. So make sure that you're moving your feet, make sure that you're defending, make sure that you're selecting the correct punches. Put all of this together when you're doing your shadow boxing. Make it fight real, all right? All right, I think I talked long enough. Let's make it happen. I'm gonna lose this uh, sweet Bambera boxing shirt, by the way. Check this out on our merch store. Should be in the description if you want one too. All right, probably less talking from here on out. I'm gonna be tired. Let's do it. Oh, golly. Remember, you win Tabatas by getting exhausted as you can, as quick as you can. Great. There's round one. I'm pretty tired. Tell me a little more fried than I thought I would. But I'm not gonna stop, especially on camera with you folks watching me. I follow along, let's keep this party going. Also, my wife can edit this out if she wants. But I think I'm gonna poop my pants. <laughs> right now, I'm resting 90 seconds in between each of these rounds. As I get closer to the fights, I slowly cut that down until we're only resting 45 seconds. And uh, I slowly add hand weights. If I'm holding a pair of two pound hand weights while we do this, 
Um, that's building. We're a month out. I'll be there, but I ain't there yet. All right, remember, the goal is to suffer. Suffer in training, bleed less in battle. You never seen me tired in a fight. Let's go. Last 20 seconds of a fight, you're losing. Come on, kill him. Done. Be tired with me. If you're not huffing and puffing and leaning on your knees, you ain't doing this right. As I work my way to a fight, I pay attention to how much my heart rate drops in that minute after intense exercise. Somebody off the couch, their heart rate might drop 30 beats per minute. You're going into that next round pretty tired. Somebody who's a good aerobic athlete, <clears throat> me someday, <laughs> you get your heart rate to drop like 60 beats per minute in that minute between rounds. So if you just buried your heart rate up at 180, you can come back with your heart rate at 120 after resting on the stool for a minute. You're basically fresh every round. One of the big secrets of long fights is just not that you got 12 rounds of cardio, it's that you got that one minute of recovery in between that lets you get back to a place that you can stage a fight out of. Last round, 10 seconds, let's go. <clears throat>
can see for me, as I get tired, I start losing my hips. I gotta focus on it, otherwise I won't be able to hurt a guy. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. Oh, man. Those. That's me being poor and getting ads. Check out my Kofi. Help me out. Buy one of our programs. Follow along with this. Help me, God. You're already getting ads on ads on YouTube. Don't get them in the video too. Um, what can I say? There's, like I said, nothing you can do that's going to give you more bang for your buck than these Tabatas. It's really important that you attack them with everything that you got and you keep making them harder for yourself. Um, Floyd Mayweather uses the best performance enhancing drug of all time, which is having eyes on you. When there are people around and they're watching you, whether it's a camera, whether it's an audience, whether it's your teammates, whether they're fans, they make you work harder and they make you push yourself, you know? So put yourself out there, challenge yourself, uh, and test your system too. Hopefully you worked hard today and you'll be in better shape and you'll have more success when you fight.